149 km solo andata da Parigi a Berlino, il viaggio del Maker Tour a Prada in Germania ed è qui che vivremo tre giorni di Codemotion, l'evento dedicato agli amanti di web e open source. Il festival parla al femminile. Le prime voci che ascoltiamo sono quelle di Mika, Anna e Zoe. Le prime fanno parte del collettivo Cobacant. Insieme esplorano le risorse del tessile unendole a tecnologie e design. Zoe è parte del team Arduino, esperta di open source e moda collaborativa. Sono loro che danno vita al primo workshop dell'evento dedicato ad Arduino Lilipad, la tecnologia che si indossa. I studied graphic design and media art, so like I don't know if you can call an artist as a maker, but like of course as in the practice you do make a lot of things and I think it's just an extension of what I was doing. Well, I think I really enjoy playing with materials and they kind of trigger ideas and then making like small projects often just like making something kind of documenting it and, and sharing it to show what's possible. Hacking but also the, the aesthetics and the materials play a big role to me so how it then ends up kind of looking and feeling. Textile and, and electronics is an interesting combination and if you use textile it's another kind of language as an aesthetic and also outcome so it's quite interesting to explore this. I mean the industry is probably always influenced by what's happening in the world and the fact that there's a maker movement of, yeah will probably also influence industry but yeah I think the more interesting is the communities and the way that we might make things together now more. I don't know is there a goal or is everything is a process? <laughs> no the goal is that the process should be enjoyable but then at the same time it never is because it's always frustrating and <laughs> But when it's finished, you, you, it's, it's so rewarding that you go through it again anyway. <laughs> well, I think this moment of it works is a very emotional point for a lot of people who make things and yeah, that is in the code too, I think. So we started to realize how do-it-yourself and uh, um, self-organizing could help really to uh, create a new env environment for creative workers to find their road and to invent their own job. And uh, um, going on, we realized how new technology are, are also helping uh, us. You just need a little theory to start prototyping some ideas that could become then products that then you can sell in small batches. The important thing about Arduino is a whole environment where actually it's not really only the hardware, it's about also the software and especially it's about the community. So yes, it is do it yourself, but it's more like do it together. We need to start from our desire and then start to find solution uh, in a common based environment. Maker Faire is an important event because it gives uh, young people and also people that don't know a, a lot about this, uh, this uh, movement to get in touch with the people and be inspired and maybe start their own project or start their own experimentation. Well, I've been to the Maker Faire in the US and they're very inspiring. I was impressed by how many people make an effort to come to the same place to see other people's work, to share their work. And it's just also, because it's nice, it's, it's entertaining. And so coming to Maker Faire Rome would be to see people from all over Europe coming to Rome. Mm -hmm. <laughs>